Hello again everybody, this is Andrew here, and this is episode 5, I believe, of the Let's Play Transport Fever 2 series. We start the series off, currently sat on the dock of one of our ships. That, uh, whoops, go back, go back down there. That runs the line between the Cookyard and Coventry. There we go. Just taking a little bit of scenery while we get started. So as it stands, we're heading towards Coventry with a full load of bricks, ready to drop them off to be sold to the city. Beautiful little uh, little part of the world. Some nice semi-mountainous hills over there. There's trees. Got a building in the background there. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I go. So we're just rounding the corner. So back that way is a brick works. And up this way is Coventry. Okay. So let's jump off the ship, man overboard, and get started. So, okay, that was a steel. No, sorry, the machines factory that we could see from the dock, from the uh, deck, I should say, not the dock. So we first land in Bridgewater, and as we can see, the little bridge bus service we set up to service Bridgewater is not keeping up with land by a long shot so straight off the bat I'm going to go out and double and then another 50% on top of that the amount of buses running the line to take it from six, uh, 3 to 8 so our train has just left the uh, just left Bridgewater Station, heading to Coventry. We should see if we can get on board somewhat there. There we go. Admire the scenery. There's our little engineer. Looking very, very black and grimy. No doubt from all the soot. I can hear a train breaking over the rise here. I've got to assume that is a train stopping at the logging, logging camp station to pick up some more logs to fuel the tools production. In fact, we're just passing the logging camp there. You can see the smoke rising in between the trees. There, you can just see it again. Which is part of the uh, rocks give the uh, logging camp a bit of, a bit of life, a bit of flavour. So we're on the way. So what we're we looking to do next? Well we need to actually continue expanding. Well there's a train depot. You can see the smoke from a second train just over the rise there. Yes we need to continue, uh, continue expanding but the question is where and how are we going to expand? Coventry has everything that it needs, uh, there's another train on its way. Uh, we have a service now running between Coventry and Bridgewater, which is picking up some passengers, although not a great deal. One thing I was looking at before was, can we supply anything into Bridgewater in order to make that grow, which would in turn increase the amount of passengers using these two trains. But uh, unfortunately, there wasn't anything that stood out as a simple, immediate fix that we could do for that. So, for the time being, we're going to have to make do with just uh, half a dozen or so passengers utilising those trains. So let's just get off that train there. Out of curiosity, we'll see how many are on there. Nine, okay. Let's check the state of play over here. Oh, let's turn off the uh, expenditure rising numbers. So, we have our blank train arriving. There's 44 awaiting him. He carries 49, so he's going to have a little wait while the sawmill processes this next load of logs that are just arriving. One thing I was going to do, this just reminded me, is to change these trains from the Baldwin 6 wheeler to the Russian Class T. So let's go ahead and make that change straight away. Not going to change their capacity, however, at this point. Perhaps down the line we can. But we will give them new 
faster and more powerful locomotives. Over here, we still have a lot of tools to be delivered and there is a good deal of planks being used still at the factory itself so that lends it to me to say we need yet more vehicles so I'll add another four that takes us to 26 total and we'll see how that does the uh, stops and stations in Coventry itself aren't looking too overcrowded a bit busy here but uh, no complaints yet in Bridport the story is the same so I believe we're going to oops, we're not going to pause it we're going to leave that as it is lastly the stone haulage line is continuing to work away nicely with no complaints or issues and with a steady stream of vehicles that are nicely spread out across the entire route ensuring we have a almost constant supply of stone to Morley Brickworks so moving forward then what do we do next we could have a second platform from Coventry Tools factory that comes out this way I think we'll sweep either between Coventry and the iron ore mine or around the iron ore mine and this way runs parallel to the connecting road and reaches a station here somewhere in and around Bridport to handle cargo and we can start delivering some tools to Bridport from the factory that to me is the most logical next step so to that end let's we'll extend and increase the amount of tracks and platform space that is available to this station what aren't you happy about there I have no idea so before it gets too upset we shall pause it vehicles reporting the following problems has the platform changed for this let's have a look no what on earth is your problem then Perhaps if I chivy him along like this by playing double track the entire length and installing a quick diamond slip switch there, get the signals put up, say there and there, and the solitary signal a little further down the line. That was protecting the old junction can be taken out. Are you happy with that? Not at all. Genuinely, sir, I have no idea what you're complaining about. Can you reverse direction? Yes. So. What on earth is the issue with you? still connected to everything so it's not like you can no longer unload all we did is extend your track out by one I don't see why that's an issue okay the issue does seem to have resolved now that he's reset himself so to speak let's just make sure that is quite an interesting color scheme a lot of color itself just how it's been painted, including the funnel, uh, the pressure release dome. Uh, I suppose the tender box is okay. This, uh, I guess that's the piston. I, I don't know the uh, technical terms on trains, but yes, it's just completely soaked in paint. Yes, anyway, back to what I was saying. He has now rectified whatever little upset 
he was experiencing and he's now continuing on his way so back to what we were doing which was laying a track from the tools factory over to Bridport to supply tools there just trying to keep that as flat to this level as I can now he's sat on top of the switch I don't know where it is there it is there's the snap point construction not possible because why would you? ah I know why it is the signal so instead we shall delete it set it a little further back from the junction like so and like so and put a clearing signal or oh, the jump, we've got one there anyway, one there. Okay, let's continue where we left off. So, I think the best thing to do would be indeed to sweep this way somewhat. It's a little out of the way from the direction we're hoping or going to be uh, going in the end. But it means we can branch off this line for other nearby industries in the future. So there are benefits. And we'll go ahead and you want me to build our first bridge. I can live with that. That isn't too bad. I will go for a higher speed bridge. Let's have a look. How about that one? That looks nice. I quite like that. So we'll take that bridge, which increases the speed from, I believe, 56 straight to 75. Not that any of our trains are anywhere close to hitting that speed yet, but at least it's now ready for future faster trains. So and then we want to sweep around the corner of this large hill and then we need to decide where the cargo station that will be serving Bridport is going to be based and I think we set it back here have a road access and much like we did outside Coventry Port we'll put a road freight yard for a pickup for the delivered goods which then will then drop them off into where they're needed in Bridport so that's what we will do so this is going to be a two track platform a two track station I should say if we set him back say around there ish make him slightly longer even though we can't afford him the ground does rise here however at some point we can perhaps do some things with our paint tools terraforming uh, asset manager and so forth just to uh, make it a little more lived in or realistic if you will so we want to keep him straight really let's just verify that at this point we're around about 26 27 the other end of our track is at 10 so we don't want to be going up for sure keeping him flat perhaps even dropping a little is the best solution or the best course of action for now so we will exit the tunnel here let's check what contour that gives us yep we're still coming down quite nicely so this here is 22 meters and we're now sub 20 meters so we still have another 10 to lose which is fine a 10 meter drop over such a over this distance isn't going to create a ridiculous incline for our trains at all and of course we are slowly getting more and more powerful trains anyway while we wait let's see what tunnel no that's far too modern for where we are that one's quite nice. That's too modern. 
How about that? That's the is that the uh, that's the standard tunnel. Let's go for tunnel type two. However, I do believe it's only yes, because we've already laid that tunnel, so to speak. So it's only affecting the tunnel entrance at this side. So to make it look less ridiculous, we shall have them equal. So we need to wait for another oh we've just lost a lot of money there i guess the uh, maintenance was just paid out on all our vehicles that's okay we have a ship dropping off in a few moments another one on its way as well trains obviously continually dropping off little bits and pieces also so it shouldn't take too long and in fact to help us along i shall reduce the date speed to one quarter and the game speed to four times acceleration and lo and behold there's the money So we need to wait again for one, two, six, five, eight, four, like that. And then all that remains to do is to link the two ends of the tracks together. Construction not possible. I think you'll find you are. Or perhaps, am I putting it wrong? No. Why are you not possible? Who knows, but you're now just giving in and acquiescing to my request and letting me put it anyway, so there we go. So that's that. We don't need a slip switch on this section because they can use this one just before the platform. However, we do need one over here. So we'll put it on the just outside of the tunnel, like so. And then we of course need to signal which we cannot do. Yes, we can. So if we put a signal there and we want something of a clearing signal, perhaps there, and then we'll have some more regular sets of intermediate signals there. Perhaps we'll have another set here. For now, there's not going to be many trains utilizing this line, perhaps two at the most. So we don't need that much, that many different sets of signals along the length of the line and we can always add more later right, so we have a signal there to protect the junction that's fine we have a clearing signal there I think we'll go for one more set round just on this radius here lovely so that's the connection However, we're not complete yet, as there's no way to get the delivered tools from here. In fact, this will not even generate a demand for them. So we do need to connect it up and set up the road delivery service as well. Can you please just go flat? That's flat, it looks like it's sloping down. Must just be my eyes. There we go. That's all you have to do. And then if we gently... No. We to sweep down and around and link in the road there. And then over here, I think we shall just connect in that way that way our truck can come in and out this way and it will not interfere with the intercity bus and get them held up it will obviously affect the inner city bus but that's okay that uh, there's not much we can do about that do we have a road depot yes we do but we do need a freight yard let's go ahead should I put him that way round I think so so you are Bridport Cargo Hub and we also need the drop off point and we shall put him just we don't want him to stop there because if he stops there and when they're spacing themselves out it will block the buses so maybe we have him there 
And what we will do, we'll use a few waypoints. He will be going a little around at the houses, so to speak. Uh, that's a super waypoint directing that way. It's crossing, there is a crossing there. And then over here we shall put... left right turn there we go and then we can direct him to hit the two waypoints so he's naturally going to go that way around here and then drop off so let's do that now so we're going from here you're carrying tools which I think I used Is that color I'm gonna go with that color and then you go into waypoint waypoint drop off you don't need to hit two waypoints just one would suffice but uh, done to anyway because why the heck not pick up tools unload your tools not your fuel your tools limited wait time and this is tools delivery for the city of Bridport. let's buy ourselves just a small handful of wagons carriages just to ensure we kick in demand immediately Naturally, they're going to be sat waiting here for a while because there's nothing for them to pick up and they're waiting unlimited time. But that's okay. It at least triggers the downstream demand for the goods. So, next. Now we can do the line that is delivering the tools or shipping, transporting the tools from the forge to the cargo hub just outside of Bridport. We'll use that that's what your color i used tools freight and that is from coventry to bridport there we go i think they're all the same color i am color blind so it is not the easiest thing in the world sometimes for me to spot let's have the class t because that's been a good engine for us so far and we want some boxcars. Same weight, different lifespan, but not concerned about that. So I'm going to go for the bigger ones for this train. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't. I did that before. We're not doing that this time. What's that? Three, six, seven, a mediocre rating. Decent enough speeds. Can we afford two of them? Not quite. Shall we wait to afford two of them? I think. I think we shall. No, we'll try one. Just to get the ball rolling, if you will. This is tools from Coventry to Bridport. Just so we know what train it is. And you are going onto that line. Off you go. Perfect. Let's just verify that the, uh, the two... Yes, they're both using disparate, uh, separate platforms. The only interaction they have is on the bend between the junction and the slip switch. That's okay. They shouldn't hold each other up because even if we have two or three delivering the tools and we have a wait, a train waiting here and other trains waiting here, these trains can still pass because there's no signal for them to wait at ahead of the junction or after the junction, I suppose I should say. So there we go. There comes a train now, obviously he needs to wait for clearance to pass through this station. Perhaps at some point we could have a uh, a flying through platform and we can even make, you know, make it integral to the platform or build it as something of a bypass where it just skirts around and then slowly drifts back in on the bend so the trains can pass around here without interference or delay which is always a good thing that is a very very blue train i'm just gonna say it okay now that we have tools being dropped here and here this is naturally and i think it has just increased level going to increase demand here that means we may now need to amend these trains and include some extra stake cars. Perhaps if we go another three apiece, 
Pull them in. And that in turn mainly may mean a greater volume of logs to be delivered here per trip, but we shall see if there's much waiting around at this station once things settle down a bit more. So at the minute you've got 17 on you. There's a capacity of 16 waiting there. So let's just send you on your way ahead of time. So at least you can make a little money. Ah, look at this. How many was that? 22. So the, the demand's picking up here. What's it like over in Bridgewater? Well, the train's just left. How many did you take with you? 17. That's not too bad. That, however, is less... Well, it's, it's, not, it's not a bad problem to have, I suppose. It's more people wanting to use the service, but... Uh, do we have the capacity on the line anymore? I'm going to say no, we don't. So we're going to go from 8 to 10. And let's just see what effect that has. Now, I imagine the problem is people are being picked up here and here and here and so forth, so forth. And their ultimate destination is the station. So they're staying on the entire loop, which means that when the bus stagecoach reaches this stop here, there's no capacity for these people to get on. Another solution to that is to implement a counterclockwise, or depending on which way you're looking at it, a uh, no, no, this is clockwise. Put a clockwise line through the town, and that may that should help because the people who are getting on here or here with the final destination being here, instead of getting on the bus that goes counterclockwise and going through every stop around the city, they can instead go on the clockwise bus and it's a much shorter, much more direct route, so it makes sense. So let's do our clockwise line. You are bus service number two from Bridport. Bridgewater, I do apologise. Bus service zero two. Bridge water. And let's have I don't think we're gonna need as many as I did just put on there, but we'll go for five. Give them the correct coat. That is right, isn't it? it is the purple, yes it is. Now we may find that this means uh, we've oversaturated the counterclockwise line as people start to use the other service available to them, but we shall see. We can sell them if we need to. Coventry continues to grow quite nicely. Uh, the emissions are starting to have an impact. We are very profitable, so it might be worth considering increasing the maintenance on our bus services especially. Perhaps more so, however, the, the uh, trucks that are doing our deliveries into the city. Perhaps they need their maintenance adjusting as well. Right, so, again, I'm going to send him on his way, even though he doesn't have a full load. Damn it. And I want to get a second train running the line before he makes his way back, because if I send it now and he's still here, this train is going to be waiting here, which will block access to the planks trains to drop off goods to provide tools to get him on his way and we'd have that infinite loop as I like to call it and uh, that's not good for anybody I've forgotten already how much I need just under two million I'll wait for two million then do we have a ship yes now go perfect tools Coventry to Gridport Zero two. As there are now multiple trains on this route, we need to distinguish between them. There we go. What's he waiting for? I was waiting for this uh, lumber train, the logging train, I should say, to just pass on through. That's fine. He now has clearance. He is going to wait here until there's three, a free platform for him to pass through at the sawmill. 
Now, in terms of waiting, I have noticed just then and whilst I was looking this way, I saw it in the corner of my eye, that these trains are having to wait. That to me says this isn't keeping up. Look, it's run out of uh, logs already. How much waiting? 36. Your capacity is 70. So that's not good. So what we need to do, could these trains manage... They could even manage another four. They would be a lot slower. Oh, not another eight. That's better. And that will cost us 1.6 million, but that will increase their capacity to 105, which gives us an overall of 210. That's going to have to be the solution there. Rather than running a third or even third and fourth train, which I think would be slightly overkill for such a short route, we have to make him longer and live with the speed loss as best we can. Well, we'll do that and we'll see what sort of effect it's going to have. In the meantime, our tool delivery train has just dropped off a second load, not full. And that made us 372, the first one made us 186. Well, I guess we're looking at about 450 for a full load. This in turn has kicked these trucks into gear as they're now delivering the tools into the city. Which to my eye makes it look, uh, which to my eye has caused Bridport to grow a little. In fact, yes it has. The other good machinery is not something we can supply in the near future. In terms of future, next expansion... I believe my current idea would be to extend the passenger line to one of three towns. Ripley over there to the left, Stoke to the bottom, or Morley over there on the right. I'm going to lean towards Morley. Yes, the reason being, it has low tech, so to speak, goods that it requires, bread and bricks. Bricks we already have here, so we could just run a small supply line over the bridge. Bread can be contained down here. And we could ship it up the river, like that. And that'll help Morley grow, increase the amount of people, which increases the amount of potential passengers to run between the city, the three cities that would be linked to our network, which increases the amount of money we're making. So I think that's got to be the way ahead in terms of future expansion, at least for my money it is anyway. Now I can't remember the cost to upgrade these. It was four apiece. 1.6 million. Okay, I don't think. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't think we're gonna hit that anytime soon, but there we go. There we go. He's looking more substantial now than what he did when he first started out. You see what I mean? How this, these trains are waiting here, and this has already ran out of raw materials to, uh, up its platform there's only 18 waiting that's not nearly good enough it's slowing everything down even here we've slowed down now as you see this platform is almost emptied this train has a uh, still got to wait for a full load and is that our second train it must be so that's our first train what do we have here the Borsig and the Bavarian passenger car so a full load is 500,000 more than I imagined it would be. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that we need more. Oh no we don't. They're managing, they're managing. But it seems that they're managing. Still a lot of people waiting for the intercity bus. That to me means there's a uh, 
scope to have a passenger train. As I said when we discussed that last time, I'd like to keep some bus services running between cities for variety and flavour. Our stations in Coventry are very busy. Not overly so, however, but it may be worth adding extra trams. So what I'm thinking of doing here is actually chucking a few more trams on the metro lines, especially metro number two, which is the most popular one. How many do we have? Four. Let's double it. Go for eight. Maybe overkill, but we'll see. But it should get the people shifted, which gets the money down here, rather than sat in the ether in here. So, yes, I think the next thing to do is to extend the train line over the river and then into Morley. And then we can start supplying Morley with uh, the materials it needs, the bricks and the food. Uh, to ensure we have a continuous freight line, we could... Oh, it's going to have to run out of this side of the station. I think if we cross, because we're I think we're at a higher elevation, somewhat, we could bridge over here, run down here, and then cross, and do what we need to do. That keeps everything linked onto one line in terms of freight, which is, as I keep saying, something I like to do. How's the throughput on these now? Let's quickly check. So you're almost out again, but the train is on its way. There's 18 on the platform. The train is on its way back. So there shouldn't be as much waiting as there was before. Might still need some fine tuning to ensure 100% efficiency, or close to it anyway. But I have a feeling this train is going to have to wait for him to leave because I don't think he's going to be oh no he may be full yeah he's going to be full not a problem so that little issue not that it was a major issue appears to have been rectified the intercity train well one of them is profitable how's the line overall there we go that's profitable now by quite a margin that's looking very good indeed so the question is do we have a stopping service from Coventry to Bridgewater to Morley and back or do we keep it Coventry to Bridgewater and then a separate service from Bridgewater to Morley where they change in Bridgewater? Given that Coventry is the capital, I think it's better to have a stopping service so they can go direct. The only problem with that is if the train is full here, it may not have space to pick up people from Bridgewater who are going to Coventry. But we can uh, address that if that does become an issue by extending the trains or even running more of them. So, I think that's a good place to leave this episode. Hope you've enjoyed following along and you're enjoying the series so far. All that remains for me to say, folks, is I shall see you in episode 5, I believe. I forgot what number I'm up to. I'm recording all these at the moment in one before I edit them. So, hopefully see you again soon, guys. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later.